Hi there, going to give you a little video viewing of the 2020 Rapido Series 8 896F. We'll go around the outside, then I'll open up the lockers on the outside, then I'll have a little show you on the inside what's going on. So this is a lovely A-class motorhome. It's got the big black alloys style mirrors. This one's got the 160 brake horsepower upgrade on the engine and the automatic box. I'll show you the outside. So you see those lovely big black alloys there. What are the stats on this then? We've got a length of seven and a half, seven point four nine meters. The width is two point three five, and the height is two point eight nine. It's plated at three six five zero kilograms. Let's have a look down this side. I've got the garage open, ready to show you. You'll see all those handles recess in. There's the uh, built-in reversing camera. Okay, let's have a look in the garage. As you can see, the bed does lift to give you, when you're traveling, uh, another, let's say, 30 to 40 centimeters of height in the garage. Uh, you've got an external shower point there and the control make your bed go up and down here. I've not got it plugged in at the moment. There's blown air heating coming into the garage as well and we've got uh, three fixing points on this side and three fixing points on the other side. You've also got access to pipes and switch off valves and if I go all the way in and we've just stored some carpets in here from the van while it's on display. And there's the fuse box, the battery charger unit, and more control panels over there. Okay, so it's a very decent sized garage. Also on this side, where your driver sits there, we have the gas locker. So there's room enough for two six seven kilogram bottles there and as we go around to the passenger side we've got the diesel fill point there interestingly the ad blue inside i can't do this one-handed so because it's got a security catch. Well, I say I can't do it one-handed, let me try. So it opens to a point and then you release a little catch. Right, let's angle this down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So there's a little hidden storage cupboard on the outside is also all lockable. And if you can see that, how that sits. So it goes under the chassis. While we're here, let's just angle the camera up and have a little look underneath. See the onboard water tank there. That sits uh, by the back wheels. And then under here, you can see that's where the little locker goes in under there. Okay. So yeah, that's got an extra little catch which uh, stops it from coming out. Passenger side still, we've got the electric point, the vent for the heater, the um, cassette toilet emptying point there and your onboard water tank fill 
a dual access to the garage through a, uh, a slightly smaller door on this side. Okay, you can see there where the, uh, the bed raises, it goes up and then it concertinas around there. I'd say it was a good, well, probably 30 to five, 35 to 40 centimeters of extra height you've got there. Right, I shall um, go in, have a little look inside. So, we'll step up in. Obviously the first thing you notice is this really bright Lovely leather upholstery. Makes it feel really light and airy. The uh, two front seats fully rotate. The integrated seat back there. All right, let's have a quick look at the dash while we're at this end. Got this lovely chunky Fiat steering wheel and the nine speed automatic box. This has got the engine upgrade I said earlier, didn't I? Yeah, and the automatic. You've got this nice um, Kenwood control panel as well. And there's a really nice sound system in this. With speakers everywhere. Okay, so standing as if you were the driver and looking back. You've got a nice little lounge area here. This table, don't know if I can show you with one hand, but it does rotate all the way around into different positions. Can't show you with one hand, sorry. But it also has this. Um, there you go, it's just got so you can see it's brand new, it's still got the pads on. So that rotates around, goes into all manner of different positions. This has got the uh, four facing seat belts, so obviously the driver and the passenger. And there's a clever little configuration here where the seat comes up. You can see the seat belt position there. So you've got front facing seats for all four or two passengers. And you can see there, again, that would be the headrest. And there's a clever little combination of seating which comes up. Um, I may have to stop the camera, collapse the seats and show you the bed because I can't do that with one hand. But in the um, lounge area, We've got uh, one, two, three lockers. They're just easy push button, open and close. And then one on the opposite side. There you go, and that's got a little extra, oh, that's um, a little extra work top. Okay, there's the nice control panel and the Truma iNet control panel for your heating and everything else there. Little concertina door here which hides away all your, your bits for your telly and your entertainment. And a nice little natty cupboard up here. Shows you've got your HDMI and your, your PowerPoint and your SAT point there. And the cables will all be hidden away because they come out of here to your telly. So on this side, the kitchen area, I'll angle down for this. You've got uh, three gas hobs there. Nice big stainless steel sink, and then the combination oven and grill, and a little drawer underneath, and you've got access points to shut off valves there. These are all uh, soft closing doors. So another little storage cupboard there there and then obviously that's the sink right i'll angle the camera down again because there's a, a good little hidden storage unit in the habitation area there you see how the, the thickness of the the floor um, so that's a nice big um, storage thing there which is set down into the into the floor and that just an easy, sort of like a jigsaw piece, closes back up. 
Right. Separate fridge freezer. Ample, I think. Really good size. Fridge freezer. And then we're through to the bathroom. Again, I'll probably angle the camera. Oh, I don't know if I will on this one. You can see, yeah, I'll show the camera now. I pretend I'm in the shower. So you've got a nice, a completely separate shower. And then on the opposite side, and that closes off to form a private sort of lounge area and bathroom area. And opposite the shower, on the opposite side of the motorhome, you've got the, the toilet and the sink with a sliding sort of mirrored cupboard there and a push button one here. There we go, so more storage there. And under the sink, another two cupboards there. So we're up into the uh, bedroom, the fixed bed at the back. Island bed set up on this. Oh, and there's another access point here. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I'll angle down. So you've got a small little storage area. You've still got the brand new covers on there. Uh, access to pipes, maintenance. Again, that just sort of sits down in there. And you can see all the um, blown air heating ducts here and here. So this bed, when you're travelling, uh, bed raises up for more storage in the garage. And then you've got a nice little hanging wardrobe type affair on either side of your bed. And two lockers above the bed. And a little cheeky little cubby hole there for your... Uh, books and things. The bedroom also benefits from these little sliding doors which just nice little solid sliding doors rather than a concertina one and it comes across meets in the middle and makes the uh, bedroom really private. You can see I was mentioning earlier about the, the sound system you've got two speakers here A separate control system for the sound system I think and two speakers in the um, lounge area and then another two speakers above where the um, where the, the driver sits the passenger so what I'll do now is I'll stop the video and I'll pull down the, the bed at the front and um, show you how that looks it's a very quick operation you just collapse the driver and passenger seat and then this whole unit pulls down I'll see you in a minute okay we're back and it only took a couple of minutes I just uh, there's a quick release collapsing forward button for the cab seats and these side cushions just uh, velcro away down and then the whole bed just pulls down from the ceiling and it's all, you can leave it ready made up and it's ready to go. We've got these curtains which pull across. They're retained by the elastic here. So that's so easy. Actually, I could probably collapse it with one hand. It's just when you're pulling it down, you need two. So there we go. So yeah, once the seats are collapsed, it's a very easy operation. But As you can see. So there you go. I think that's a, a good look around. Just angle the camera down for one more look. Uh, show you the floor space. Now we'll go walk about. Bedroom. 
Certainly a vehicle for epic adventures.